Hey everybody, LumberTech 2 just got updated, and for the first time in 5 years, we finally have a new biome and some new tree types. That's right, we've got an actual content update to go over today. Anyways, this update is actually in response to LumberTech 2 hitting 1 billion visits, which happened about 5 days ago. And the game's icon has been updated to have this nice little banner going around it saying 1 billion. Anyways, to get to the new content, you're just going to want to follow this new road in the safari, which was actually teased a while ago, and then go on this bridge here, and this bridge will take you right into the new biome. So I'm going to stop talking for a while and just let you guys listen to the music, because the music is quite nice. It's probably one of my favorite soundtracks in the game. Now once you get off the new bridge, you're going to have to go under this overpass here, and then you'll go into the actual biome. And now you can see the two brand new trees in this biome, the first of which is this long green type tree, and the second is this thicker version of cherry. We'll take a closer look at these woods later in the video. Anyways, if you keep following this road here, you're eventually going to see a shop in the distance, and this brand new shop called Peculiar Prints sells, well, blueprints. Anyways, in this store you'll find the handy shopkeeper Alan and a ton of new blueprints. The most notable of these being corner wedges. However, we've also got some other random blueprints like barn doors, benches, and trusses. And in this shop, you'll also find a limited edition 1 billion axe. I definitely recommend stocking up on these as they're going to be worth a lot in the future. Now is also a good time to mention that this biome actually has a second access point, And that's from the Swamp Passage here. See, while it used to end right here, now it actually continues through into the new biome. And it stops right here to give you a perfect view of the brand new biome, personally one of my favorite shots in the whole game. Now this is a one-way passage, meaning that once you go down it with your vehicle, you cannot go back up it. This is probably so that you don't access the swamp from this biome, since then you would avoid the tolls of getting the rock bridge. Okay, now before we get into the blueprints which I've set up behind me, let's look at the 1 billion axe. Now, I don't know its exact statistics, but I do know its DPS is pretty good. It's a slightly lower than the mani axe, so still not the best axe in the game, but definitely a really, really good axe, especially for its pretty low price. Anyways, now let's get into the blueprints. First, we got these long, small, and tiny tiles, and these are going to be so useful for building. We're never going to have to place little tiny tiles again. Anyways, over here we've got the corner wedges, and I mean, there's really not much to talk about, they're just corner wedges. Next up, we got the tall variants here, we got the tall ladder and the tall post. Again, going to be a huge lifesaver when doing big builds, but nothing too special. Now, over here is probably my favorite part of the whole thing, trusses. That's right, we're finally going to be able to do advanced parkour in Lumber Tycoon 2 by using all these trusses. And we've got all different types here, we've got non-crossbeamed and the crossbeam type trusses. I think the game calls them supported and not supported. Next over here we got the barn doors, and these barn doors are pretty dang awesome. They're basically just normal doors but with a bit of added detail. Now we got the benches, another one of my favorite blueprints, and these ones I actually made along with the stool and submitted to Default Dio so I'm so glad that he actually added them. Now let's take a look at the woods. First we have this nice red wood over here which we got from the first tree that we looked at. And this wood is just a really nice shade of red. It's just, it's not as vibrant as lava wood but it's not as pink as cherry wood which just makes it a nice balance. And now we've got the cherry trees and their wood color is basically a pure white meaning that's even lighter than birch wood. So yeah, that's pretty much all from this update. Again, I will be probably making some follow-up videos in the coming days just to add more information, but for now, this is basically all I know, and I just want to get a video out really fast. So yeah, this update is just so, so uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah.